What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today uh, we're going to do something I've been wanting to do for a while now and never done it. Um, I've done a little bit of research. Some guys say it works, some say it doesn't. So we're going to just go ahead and do it for ourselves. And that is to fully spray paint this rod here. Uh, it's a all green favorite rod um, that one of my buddies actually gave to me just because he doesn't like how it looks and I don't blame him I don't really know what 13 fishing was thinking when they came out with this rod, but it's a good rod It has some good sensitivity some good action. So um, I thought why not? I've been wanting to try it for a while now So we're gonna jump right into it and see if we can't fully uh, Convert this to all blackout rod. Um, I think it can't look much worse So we're just gonna go ahead and send it and see what it looks like all right guys, so uh, I did a little bit of research, watched a couple of videos of other guys that have already done it. Um, and I think the best way to do it without spending too much money is I just had some old spray paint at the house. We're gonna try this to start things off. And then after that's done, I'm going to try this polyurethane. All right guys, so step one is obviously to tape the rod off, which I have already done, as you guys can see. So I taped the rod all off, all the cork is covered very thoroughly with just some blue painter's tape. All the eyelets are taped up, um, I have the cork on the bottom all taped up, everything's ready to go, ready for spray painting. So step number one is finished. Um, step two, I already got the paint, so this is just a generic spray paint that I had at my house. I don't know if it's focusing or not. Um, it says it goes on wood, plastic, um, and metal, so it should work. Um, I've watched some videos where, with guys that just spray paint the rods and don't do anything else. Um, initially it looks like it works pretty well, but then after a couple times of using the rod and the more wear you put on it, um, in places that you have your hands on it a lot, like around the base and up right around, up around here, a lot of times that spray paint will wear off. So I decided that I'm going to first put this on it, the spray paint, and then I'm not just gonna end it there because I, I agree, I think it's just gonna wear off over time. So I'm gonna try to cover it with this like, it's a clear gloss coating. So I'm gonna first spray paint it with this, probably two or three coats to make sure it's on there uh, nice and thick and then finish it off once it dries with this polyurethane. So um, we are going to see how that works. Um, like I said, don't really have anything to lose and let's get right into it and see how it turns out. We're outside, first step is shake it up, make sure it's all ready to go on nicely. All right guys, I think it's all ready to go, so without further ado, let's see if this works. So, I don't know how well you guys can see, but uh, it's going on pretty good so far. We'll see if that lasts, I'm sure this cold weather is probably not ideal for this, but. All right guys, we got almost the entire thing done. Looking good, I'm gonna finish it up and. All right guys, we're gonna take this inside real quick. Let it dry, see what it looks like. All right guys, so the first coat is done. Um, here's what it looks like. It went on all right. Um, I missed around here because I ran out of room to what I could hang on to. I'll, so my plan is to kind of let this dry um, and then grab it maybe up towards the tip of the rod and get a second coat on it just to get it nice and thorough the whole way. Um, there's a couple spots here you can see that uh, rubbed on this when I was setting it down. That wasn't totally dry, but I didn't want to let it dry outside. So here's what it looks like now. So we shall see in about 30 minutes what it looks like if it's dried then. And then we'll come back and hit it with a second coat. Alrighty guys, it's about hour, two hours later. Um, I've given this rod probably three or four coats now. Um, I'll give you guys a quick look now. Happy with this final coat here. So I'm going to let this dry, and then after that, I am going to put on that uh, glossy finish on it, which is right here, this polyurethane. So this is the final step. Once this dries, um, I think it's gonna turn out pretty cool. I think I've done, like I said, three or four coats, and it's pretty uh, thoroughly covered. Um, the only thing that might have a little bit of leftover green on it, I could imagine, is maybe up around the eyelets because uh, I had those taped off and so I don't know if it got up under there. 
super well, but regardless, it's going to look better than that green ugly thing did before I spray painted it. So the good old DiGiorno pizza box came in clutch here for painting it. So just got to let this dry and I uh, think I'm going to be pretty happy with the results. So we will uh, put the final coat on once this is all dried. All right, let's do this. All right guys, it's another like two or three hours later. I put on like a total of about four coats of spray paint and then about two coats of the polyurethane over top of that once that dried. And uh, it's time to take the tape off and see what it looks like. I'm excited, hopefully uh, it's not too gross or nothing's too messed up on it. Let's check it out. Well, the first part looks pretty good. None of the cork got uh, covered with the paint. Looks good, let's get the next part off. Well guys, does not look bad at all. Tape job seems to be pretty good. Didn't really miss any spots. It's a little bit sticky, but I think that'll get better over time. I think it's just because it's only been an hour or so after my final coat, but look at that. Full transformation. It's not perfect by any means, but it's a lot better than what it was. Let's take this little thing off too. Look at that. Even got the 13 right there. I'm happy with it. It's a lot better than what it looked like before. We'll see how it dries in a day or so, and uh, Hopefully be ready to roll. Alright guys, what's up? It's two days after I uh, originally filmed the video and spray painted the uh, rod. And it dried very well, much better than I thought actually. Um, I don't know how well you guys can tell, but I put the reel on it and everything. I think that polyurethane really helped out um, because it seems really protected and I honestly don't think any of this is going to chip off or like wear off over time. Um, I'm super happy with how it turned out. I don't know how well you guys can see, but other than like a spot or two right around here that for some reason didn't um, ever go on smoothly, um, it looks great. I kept that little 13 spot on right there. If you guys enjoyed and want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comment section below. Um, it was a lot of fun doing this and it turned out a lot better than I thought. So, And if you're not already subscribed, I ask that you please do so so we continue to grow the channel and uh, make the push for 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you next episode. Peace out.